Hi guys, I hope you are doing well. Today in this tutorial, we are gonna see how we can use trees with movements and animation in 3D Studio Max. Well, I have decided to use the Speed Tree software for this. But don't worry, the method is extremely easy. Actually, in a Speed Tree, you can create your own desired tree from scratch. But I prefer to choose a tree from the prepared templates. Just choose the new option from the file menu. Okay, for example, I consider the sapling. In order to simulate the movement of the wind on this tree, I click on the fan icon so that the wind parameters are displayed here. I activate enable so that you can see the effect of the wind on this tree. Well, we have many parameters to control the specification of this wind. How intense should it be? What is its frequency? What is its direction? How much does it bend? And you just can control all this. For example, I increase the intensity of the wind and you can see that it gradually increases and the power of this wind increases. I can increase the bending amount that is created on the tree. For example, if I set it to 3, you can see that this tree is bending more under the influence of the wind. Of course, we have many parameters to control the shape of the tree in the wind. For example, I will set this to 1.2. I will change the setting, reduce the intensity a bit. As I mentioned, we have many settings. Well, you can check. Because it's showing you everything in real time, you can test everything one by one to see the effect directly on your tree. Finally, I can go to the file menu and click export mesh. On my preferable pass, I will consider a name. Be careful here to choose ABC or Alembic format. Click the save button and a window opens. Here we set the hierarchy to all and geometry is active. Set the format option to transform and make sure the wind parameters is active in the animation section. Well, here we have the frame rate and other settings that I really don't need. So I click OK. We have to wait a little bit until animation is exported. Well, in the 3D Studio Max, in order to be able to make the tree model compatible with V-Ray, I go to the Utility tab and then I click Max Script and then Run a Script. Ok, I go to the pass where I had installed the Speed Tree software, like this. Well, there is a folder named a Script. Run this script for your desired software, for example 3D Studio Max. A script parameters appear here. Import for Arnold. What render engine do you want to import it for? V-Ray, Redshift or Corona? I choose import for V-Ray and open the tree I had saved from this file here. The tree is imported. You see, if I zoom in a bit, you will understand better. I can move it a little in a better position. Now if I press the play key or if I play with this slider, you can see the movement on this tree. In this way, we can easily place different tree models in our space, in our 3D Studio Max scenes. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial.